Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with Jahun Fan TV, man. I'm back at you on this video. At the content of this video, go smash that like button, the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, uh, Ravens training camp. I guess it'll be day 18 since I missed yesterday. Um, the Ravens, uh, be very honest, did a very kind of intensive kind of walkthrough, you know what I mean, just working on, you know, the, the, the basic fundamentals and things like that, just because they came up with two straight days with the Washington Commanders, very physical practices, um, a lot of fighting going on, <laughs> um, you know what I mean, I thought it was slow up day two, it didn't, so they did, you know, they fought a lot yesterday as well, um, uh, but obviously physical football, uh, so I guess, you know, the coaches said, hey, look, we just want to give you guys a light day, uh, walkthroughs. So it makes sense to me to get the players of the light day, you know what I mean, after everything they've been through the last uh, couple of days going against another team and get them more prepared for, you know, the pieces of the game that's coming up against the commanders, all right? So, but what we can talk about is obviously is the injuries, all right? Tyler Huntley did not practice. Um, Odell Beckham, Rashad Bateman, uh, Laquan Trevor did not practice. OBJ, we haven't heard anything about an injury. So right now we're just going to say that's a veteran day uh, as far as I know. Um, Bateman are taking it slow with him and Treadwell. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. Uh, defensive backs, you know, Pepe Williams, Rocky Singh, George Swan, Arthur Marlette, Jaquan Amos, and obviously Marlon Humphrey. We did a video about talking about his injury and his and that impact that was going to have on the team already today. All right. So, but the Ravens did get a couple of guys back, right? Jalen Armour Davis came back, Isaiah Likely came back. And Ronnie Stanley came back, all right? So the Ravens that was paying their cautious Ronnie Stanley, saying that they were trying to protect his ankle. We're not sure what that means exactly. Uh, maybe something happened. They just felt like it was best for him to take a couple of days off. And now he's back. Great. Uh, Jalen Armour Davis is going to be a very big part of what happens in the secondary now. Uh, dealing with the injuries to Marlon, dealing with the injury to Marlon Humphrey. And obviously, you're right, seeing guys like that. The two starting corners are out right now. So Jalen Armour Davis is that guy stepping right into that starting corner spot okay and Isaiah likely just a player we all like uh want to see him grow in year two and uh he's had a pretty good training camp so far so just want to see him just continue to get better I'm glad that his injury was um was light you know what I mean uh I would it would have been cool to see him go up against the commander see him you know in action versus another team but we'll get that during the regular season you know what I mean uh, soon come soon come so all right now what I want to talk about is the cornerback room um, because the Ravens had did work out two cornerbacks today. They worked out uh, free agent Ronald Darby and obviously free agent Anthony Brown. All right, so these are two guys that the Ravens are considering bringing into the fold. Okay, so the Ravens know that. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to to figure out that they're in a bad way right now at corner, and they need to to take steps and time to try to resolve that. So these are two guys that can help them potentially, you know, resolve some of the issues right now at cornerback. And it's great that a guy like Taylor Armour Davis already came back because then that allows um, somebody who's familiar with the system to be one of the top guys here. Because, I mean, if we look at it right now, I mean, you got you got Taylor Armour Davis, you got Daryl Worley and um, Kevon Seymour and Darius Washington are, are your, kind of your top guys that will probably be playing cornerback right now for the Ravens, right? So that can be uh, a little bit, a little, little bit scary, to be quite honest with you. So, hold on, I'm trying to look up uh, Ronald Darby and uh, Anthony Brown just to tell you some things about them, where, where they've been last year and things like that. So, uh, Ronald Darby, uh, he's actually from Maryland, out there in Oxon Hill. Uh, last year, he played for the Denver Broncos, played five games for them, started five games for them, uh, three pass deflections. And about 14 tackles in those five games. All right. And then as far as Anthony Brown goes, he played 12 games last year for the Cowboys. Started all 12 games that he played in. Um, let's see. Seven pass deflections. And uh, about 42 tackles last year. So out of these two players, um, Anthony Brown is probably the one that's I guess the better option, he's more experienced as far as, you know, he played more games. You know, more experience is the wrong word. I'm sorry. Um, he's coming up a season where he played more previously is what I should say. Because Ronald Darby is a very experienced corner um, in the NFL. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if the Ravens decide to sign one of these guys. And what does that mean for, you know, 
other needs, right? We know the Ravens were interested in, um, excuse me, to Davian Clowney. To Davian Clowney obviously went to Jacksonville for a visit. He didn't leave there with a contract either. So I guess he's weighing his options up. But does this mean that the Ravens have to allocate those resources that was to Clowney to cornerback? I mean, these cornerbacks probably, not probably, won't cost near as much as Davian Clowney would. But still, you know, the Ravens have some decisions to make just because of the position that they're in right now. Um, so looking at Ronald Darby, his age, he is, he's 29 years old. So, you know, good age. And um, let me see if he was coming off an injury last year. Is that what happened? So, okay, Ronald Darby tore his ACL last year, and that's why he only played five games, okay, uh, for the Denver Broncos. So, he's coming off an ACL injury, so that could be risky. The Ravens just came back from Marcus Peters coming off an ACL injury last year. So, to sign a guy right back um, would, be, uh, would be an interesting move, because if you were going to do that, you could have just kept Marcus Peters, quite honestly, but... Um, you know, you know how you know how that goes, right? So uh, as far as Anthony Brown goes, he tore his Achilles last year in Week 13 and was placed on IR in December. <laughs> All right, so yeah, these are the kind of options that you're going to get right now at cornerback. So I, I mentioned that in the video before when I was talking about Humphrey that the Ravens' best option or the most uh, the, the option that's going to get them a guy that can actually have an impact on the team. It's probably via trade. It still won't probably be anybody crazy because the Ravens aren't going to give up first, second round compensation for, you know, an elite cornerback. That's just not what the Ravens are going to do. I know they did it for Roquan Smith. I know that. But I don't see them doing it back-to-back -back years in a row. Eric DeCosta constantly talks about how he loves draft picks. And I think, honestly, trading the draft pick last year, even though you get Roquan Smith, it hurt him. It just did. So do with that what you will. But I think, you know, your fourth, fifth, sixth round, seventh round picks are still up for grabs. But how, how, what is the quality of player you're going to get for those kind of picks is the question. All right. Um, so, because right now, if you're shopping in the free agent market, you're getting Anthony Brown, who's coming up an Achilles injury. And at a position where you need to be able to shift, turn, smooth, you know, that's, that, that could be a devastating injury at that kind of, at, at that position. Or you can get Ronald Darby, who's coming up with an ACL injury and from week five, who's had a lot more time to recover. Um, I don't know, man. In my mind, there are other guys out there. There's there's Bryce Callahan, who I believe is still a free agent. Let me just check on this. Yeah, Bryce Callahan still a free agent. I know he's, he's 31, but he's still a free agent out there. And uh, somebody who was on the team last year, which is, uh, which is Kyle Fuller. So... Kyle Fuller is still a free agent. He's also 31 years old, coming off ACL. But he tore his ACL in week one last year. So he's had the entire season plus now to get back to full strength. Um, but we'll see what the Ravens do because obviously they're going to do something at cornerback. And uh, that's really the news topic for today. What will the Ravens do at cornerback? Because like I said, today was just a walkthrough as far as practice goes. So, um, But listen, man, I want to thank you guys for turning into this video. Uh, if you stayed to this point, consider hitting the subscribe button, man. More Ravens content to come. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.